I'm Jeff Johnson. I'm the owner of 3D Print RVA. We've been selling 3D printing services for over 10 years. Alexandria called me and she was looking for a way to do a 3D scan of this Lewis and Clark and Sacagawea statue that had been removed from downtown Charlottesville. The statue shows Lewis and Clark in heroic poses and Sacagawea is crouched at their side. She's sitting on a rock. There was controversy about her depiction. People were not comfortable with it. We don't intend to put it on its pedestal again. We intend to show it next to the pedestal so it becomes less of a monument and more of a historic artifact to be examined. For this project, we are using the EinScan HX scanner by Shining 3D. With the EinScan HX, there are two different ways to scan a statue like we're scanning today. So the first method is a blue laser mode. The blue laser does require you to use stickers that you place across the surface of the statue. The second method is to use the blue LED mode. This mode does not require the stickers and it will capture color and the general topography. We start by placing stickers so that the field of view on the scanner can at least see three stickers at all times and this is how it tracks this location. And then you go through making paintbrush motions with the scanner across the surface. The challenges with this statue is that it has a heavy green patina, and then of course it's in the middle of a large open space. There's a lot of direct sunlight on it all day. What makes this different than the previous scanners I've been using is that it handles darker color objects. The greenish patina is always a challenge for scanners, and the blue laser mode seems to handle it very well. The HX does handle brighter light situations. It allows me to be a little bit more versatile for the time of day and scanning for something outdoors. With it having the wider field of view, that means for larger items, I can scan things much faster. I think scanning really should be part of due diligence because we live in a tumultuous time, both our society, but also with our climate change. We don't know what is going to be preserved. For museums, when I've scanned pieces for them, some are looking to have a interactive model they can put on their website and rotate it around. Some of them are doing it because the item's gonna go into storage, but they still wanna be able to have access to it. There's endless possibilities of what you can achieve with these scanners.